Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Explain 12. In this video today I'm going to tell you how to delete a flight discontinuity in the flight plan of the Zebo Mod Boeing 737-800. Zebo Mod is a very nice plane. I've been uh, flying this plane I think for the last uh, maybe two years and two and a half years and I'm just really enjoying this plane because it's a nice study level plane. It's got all the features active and uh, plus the FMS is also actual. It's I think near to the a uh, real world uh, Boeing 737-800 and plus uh, it also has a tab which is the electronic flight bag. Anyhow, coming back to the point, <laughs> I'm going to tell you in this video how to delete the flight discontinuity because if there is a flight discontinuity in your flight plan, then the plane will actually not follow the flight plan and uh, just right uh, before the flight discontinuity in the flight plan, the plane will actually skip the, all the waypoints and will travel in a straight line. Right now you can see I have uh, made a flight plan and uh, on your screens you can see the FMS. Uh, which is the flight management system and you can see there is a flight discontinuity if i switch this to plan um, and uh, if i just zoom out a bit you will see that after slt there is a discontinuity and the plane is uh, no not the plane actually the flight plan is discontinued so in this case uh, the plane will actually go to slt and from slt it will keep on flying in a straight line and uh, the autopilot will not follow the flight path uh, so it's a very simple trick to d delete this uh, flight discontinuity if you have uh, this issue uh, and before I tell you I can I, I must tell you that you can use this uh, method to delete a flight discontinuity in any Boeing plane um, it can be 787, 747 or the Boeing 737 by Zebo mod or by uh, PMDG or any other um, simulation site which are given giving uh, the Boeing planes okay so uh, so in the Airbus, it's easy to uh, delete this uh, discontinuity. All you have to do is this press delete and then press the soft key, which is adjacent to the flight discontinuity and it is deleted. But in this case, you cannot do it in the Boeing. All you have to do is this select the next waypoint, uh, which is next to the uh, flight discontinuity. And then you have to press this uh, soft key, which is adjacent to the flight discontinuity. And then it will be replaced with the waypoint and the flight discontinuity will just go away. Uh, it is going to Salna and then direct to Indic. Sialkot has disappeared. And it is coming over here. Can I delete this uh, waypoint? Okay, now we have modified it. So I, we have taken Sialkot out of the flight discontinuity <laughs> and from the flight plan. Uh, so that's it. So it's very easy uh, to actually get rid of uh, the flight discontinuity uh, and plus you have seen also uh, that if you want to delete any waypoint from your flight plan you can do it. Now the plane will actually go towards this uh, waypoint Sala and uh, direct towards Indic. And if I go to route uh, you will also see that from Muki it's going to uh, Salna and then that's it and then to Indic. Although there is a discontinuity coming over here, but no need to worry about it because if you look at the legs, uh, you will see that there is no flight discontinuity and plus over here you can also see it in the navigation display. So that's how you delete the flight discontinuity in the Boeing 737-800 by Zeebo. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Just to reinforce my point, you can use this uh, technique for any Boeing plane in any flight simulator. If you've got any further questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you have any comments or feedback, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.